a blessing. Good morning, Fortis Life Television. Today we are privileged to be in the blessed company of an educator. As a matter of fact, he is the third principal for instruction at a school located in Matale. Yes, yeah. Fiamma. Fiamma, right? You better introduce yourself. A pleasant good morning, sir, and welcome to Footage Live Television. You are welcome, thank you. Mm. Your name, sir, for the sake of the public. Well, I'm Charles Ward V, mm -hmm. Vice Principal for Instruction at the Carry Baptist Church School System. Mm -hmm. This is the new academy. How has it been going? Have you completed your first period test? Oh, yes, we have completed our first marking period test mm -hmm. and we have resumed activities for the second marking period test. With regard to our senior students, mm -hmm. we started school with them earlier and uh, they have completed first marking period and will be commencing mm -hmm. the second marking period test because a lot of materials mm -hmm. we are giving to them and they are moving forward with the academic activities. Recently, the Ministry of Education launched a program that for students, that is a student benefiting from this program. Yeah, the Ministry launched this program. We received that message through the District Educational uh, Office, mm -hmm. and uh, we were asked to send names of teachers. Mm -hmm. So teachers apply and those communications will be going to the ministry. Mm -hmm. But while the, the ministry is also working, we ourselves here, we have been working with our students, we started our own programs, mm -hmm. and our students have been coming and they are doing well with uh, what is being offered here by the teachers. Mm -hmm. So like you said, like you said earlier, you have now, you already have a program in, yes. in place. Yes. What about what, what about the extra classes, the extension of the time? How do you look at that also? Yeah, the extension of the time fine or before the ministry could even come up with the extension of the time, the extra classes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at Carrie and our school system, our students come to school from in the morning up to four o'clock. Because wow. we have extra classes for the students from nursery up to twelfth grade. Mm -hmm. So before the ministry will come up, we already have a plan program that is working. So we embrace the ministry, you know, extend Action. the time, the educational time mm -hmm. for our students. Even here at this school, we run 50 minutes. Instead of teacher going to class for, for the five minutes, we are using 50 minutes. Don't you teach courses? It's courses? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's all right for our instructional program. Because you as a teacher, when you enter classroom, you have your own guidelines. Mm -hmm. That is your rules and regulations. So you must call roll. And after calling roll, you start with your instruction. So all of those activities carry time. So that 15 minutes help the teacher to move forward with the academic time in the classroom. So how long have you been operating in school? Uh, the Carrie Baptist School was established in 1964 mm -hmm. by a group of missionaries mm -hmm. from America. Made back to missionaries mm. for the United States of America. Mm. And since then, the school has been going fine. And uh, the purpose for which the school was established, one is to provide cakes with uh, the sound biblical foundation, sound foundation in reading, mm. writing, and speaking, mm. and to impart uh, biblical training mm. with the child. Tomorrow will not depart. In fact, the mothers of the school, they stay of the child in a way that when he or she grows, will not depart from it. Mm -hmm. And we have been doing well. It will also enhance the government own educational program. We cater to the needs of our church members' children. We cater to the needs of other children who are in the school here educationally. And that's what we do here. That's what we do here. Mm -hmm. And things are going on fine. What are some of those OSA curriculum activities you offer here for students? Well, OSA curriculum activities, I will call extra curriculum activities here mm. at Calvary. Uh, we have the debate team, mm. a very strong debate team. Mm. We have a question team. Mm. And uh, we are one of the best in the district when it comes to music, mm. gospel music. You know, this is a Christian school. Mm. So, respect to secular no. We don't even play secular music on the campus of the college, our students. All right, a lot of activities are here. And other programs that people bring to the school, 
and we accept it to work with the students and we are going forward with them. Mm. Okay, let me look at some other key things that people want me to say that cause problems for our students. Like they should call Friday, if you can remember once, the ministry even put stop to it. Do you allow your students to go on the beaches and sometimes or do you have a guideline for it? If I see this star after school this hour, get a punishment. Well, like I said, this is a Christian school. We don't even encourage our students to go out for Super Friday. And we don't even believe that anything such as Super Friday. Yeah, at Calvary, mm -hmm. as you can see the fence, you go outside and view. Mm -hmm. When the child enters this place, 7 30 to 4 o'clock, you are here on this campus here. Except by reasons, by reasons after school, and you may follow friend to go somewhere. But I tell you, anything contrary, the rules and regulations of the schools, they are, they are here. We also have a handbook we give to parents. Mm -hmm. Any student that go contrary from our rules, definitely you will be dealt with according to the handbook. Mm -hmm. Is it that anything that is working for you? Oh, it's working. Perfectly working. Okay. Let me, let, let me take you around. Back in 2013, our former president brand this setup. Are you all love? You have spent your life too. Spend your time just to educate our Labrador children. The president Bernie as a message system. It's been close to five years now. How do you see our setup? The improving or much need to be done? Well, the president came out and said our educational system is a mess. You know, every leader has his own evaluation. Mm -hmm. Having the president of the nation at the time, mm -hmm. having studied the educational sector and, and, and seeing the performances of our children when it comes to public tests, especially the WIAC exams, the University of Liberia tests, and other happy teacher that may be a minister. Mm -hmm. I know it was true that uh, and getting her report from the Ministry of Education. Mm. That's why she said our educational system is a mess. Mm. But I want to tell you, we have some brilliant students in the country that can sit and perform very, very well. Mm. Maybe, yes, there are other areas in our educational sector that government needs to work with. All right, government needs to put in more funds if we want to graduate from the, the best to better. Mm. Encourage not just the the, 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 the the public school, but get to the mission school and work with them. Mm. We, 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 we applaud the government coming up with textbooks from fifth grade to, 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 to ninth grade where all of the lessons are planned. The government must get to the mission school, to the private school and work with them. And make sure these books are all distributed. A government must send a team, a team into the school system to work. Yes, you are with us here today. But if you go to other systems, you will, you, you will see that things are not too well. Let's not look at the interior part of Liberia. Monserrado is not Liberia. So if you go into the remote area, people go to school and they don't have textbooks. People go to school. They don't even have library, laboratory. Those are all the mess of our educational system. How do we improve it? We must work with the government. If the government cannot go out to set up the school system, better off. We will continue to say our educational system is a mess. Okay, and you saying that's, that, that's your recommendation to this government? Yeah, that the government should move out into the remote part of the country. Help people. There are people who are working, they are not even on salary. And, 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 and they are there volunteering. Community people have to collect funds to give little things to men and women to keep them into the classrooms. Mm -hmm. Alright, government uh, uh, must give something to, to all of the private schools. Especially the mission schools to help them improve their system. We, we will graduate. I tell you in Liberia, most of our children, they are good. Even the tests that were just written, mm -hmm. the children don't have textbooks. They require textbooks for us. But the performance that came out, I, I will grade it a little bit better because the children they are trying. And teachers too are trying their best. With the little they are writing, I think they are following the curriculums, the syllables, 
and so on to teach our children. Okay. Finally, before I take leave of you, well, this question is very important. And the this and the words our students desperately perform. How prepare? How prepare are you? And how prepare are your students for this coming words? Huh. This coming words is a challenge to all of the schools mm -hmm. in the Republic of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Having gone through the pattern program for over three years, mm -hmm. and coming to writing words for the first time. Like you say, our student testimony they perform. Mm -hmm. Schools are preparing the children, especially our school system here. Mm -hmm. All right, we are preparing our students. We have some textbooks. We 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 we, we purchase. We are setting on our, our our laboratory, and we have other NGOs that have come to us carrying our students also to 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 use our laboratory also. And uh, working along with the teachers, the required textbook is being used here. Make sure that uh, we work with the ministry. Even we, we, like I said, we applaud the ministry coming with extra Saturday classes where they have said they are going to compensate teachers. We also applaud them, we commend them, we commend the ministers for that. We hope that this program will be workable, it will come up soon. And the students, uh, that, that they, they are willing to go there for uh, these activities, they study along with the ministry own. On, on guidelines, all right, extra from what we are doing here. And I believe if the ministry and the schools, proprietors, administrators, who are taking care of the school work together, I can tell you this coming wise will be well for Labine. Okay. Your final message, sir. My, my, my final message is first, I want to thank the president for. Pay our children was fees. Mm -hmm. Last year, the president, and this was a very embarrassing thing, not just for our school system here. All over parents were crying, no money. And the president came and said, I will pay this was fee. Let the children study. This year again, we are doing that. The president will pay was fee for all of our students in the Republic of Liberia. I want to call on the students. To spend more time studying than less it. Mm -hmm. Leave the street, it will not help you. Especially when it is time for you to study, spend time on your lesson. Group yourself and start doing your own home study, your classroom study. Alright, and this is going to help the government. And, and, and you, as a student, you're going to be successful. Okay, there are other information about this institution that we want to send out to you. Our uh, president will have a lot of our, most of our alumni that are all there trying to solicit from to come and build our laboratory. We want to call all graduates of this institution to come back, look back, look at your route and come help your school carry back to your school system. Again, this school is among several schools in the Republic. I have been doing well when it comes to public test. In 2006, this school put up 31 students went to Division 1. Hmm. First in the Republic of Liberia, over 32 students went to Division 2. And most of them went to the University of Liberia, they graduated. Some are now engineers, some are doctors, and some are working in the government and other good places. So we can show you that this school is a good school. We present the children here, we believe in this plane here at the institution. Again, we say thank you for coming. This is a school that believes in this plane. This is a school that believes that we can work with the government and graduate from worse to better. Thank you again. Thank you. All right. So, again, we want to say thank you for coming to our institution today. This is the Carry Back Pictures School System. The sisters, I believe uh, that uh, we should train our children. The sisters, I believe that we should work with the government to eradicate illiteracy in the country. All right, and what we believe and what we do here. We run to the sessions here. We have the morning session, we have the afternoon, and the night sessions. And things are going on fine at this institution. What next happened, yourself? Thank you, thank you, thank you very much.